Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. We're just getting out to do chores. This is day week two of Sam being at work. It's cold. Gabby's already up in the bathroom. But I wanna show you guys what a farm girl's purse may look like on any given moment. So I went by my purse today and I realized I had eggs in there. Yep, eggs. <laughs> Sometimes I collect eggs, but I don't have time to take them all the way into the kitchen, so I just drop them somewhere. Last night, apparently, I dropped them in my purse. It's a really good thing I remembered, though, before I started dropping other things into my purse and they got smashed, because that would be a messy purse. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We are headed out to do char chores, and I think it is a lesson day for Sophia. Last week, it was a busy week. She had camp, so she didn't have a lesson. And last week, Gabby's lessons got canceled. Do you guys remember when Sam bought me this amazing winter coat it's like goes down to my ankles and it's down filled i love it <laughs> ellie leave her alone anyway i washed it last night and i hung it out here to dry but the dew is making it wet so i'm just gonna wait and see if the sun dries it today. we have leftover fruit ellie can't keep up so she barks ellie can't keep up so she barks she's frustrated we had leftover fruit from our party on the weekend and we're gonna give it to our chickens they are waiting at the door they're like I know she's got stuff in her hands here let's put it in your food bowl I like to put it in both feed pans that's a feed pan too but they hate that one just like with every other creature on the farm there's a pecking order and shoot that was a dumb idea to put it in their feed pan but <laughs> um i like to have several feed pans because not all the chickens get to share the treats because some are kind of bullies see these guys over here waiting their turn i put some in the middle as well um i'm gonna come back and give them more food after they're done their fruit but this thing is full of food like a whole bag almost of food in here and they don't like to eat it because it's slower and it's harder to get at. It has those little things. They like sitting on it and stuff. They just like to gobble it all down. They are not patient. Ooh. Oh crap. <laughs> They're not super patient. So the little silkies in there, they're still young. I don't know if you can see the difference in size with those ones and those ones. See, those are big. These ones are still little, pretty little. They're still on grower feed. Their feed is to help them grow. And once they're done on grower feed, they'll go to layer feed and they'll move in with these guys. But if these guys get grower feed, they don't lay as well. So that's why we keep them separate. And as soon as these guys are ready for different food, they'll also go in here. I was just editing um, short clips from our videos over the weekend and I still get can't get over Storm or running like crazy because he saw a boy. <laughs> a boy he wasn't expecting or a boy with red hair, we'll never know. Sophie picked two a bit basket of app pears so that she can take some to the lesson barn. Hi guys. Good morning. Come on Willow, you gotta get out of there. Hi Pen. Anyway, for any of you guys who are following Chino Stega, he is doing better. Like, do you guys see it? Like before, I feel like his muscles are not pulling away from his spine the way that they used to. I can see like the simplest of changes. Come on, honey, Willow knows. Like the horses know their routine. Oh, I don't need anything for her? She's let her out? Well, hold on to her neck. Oh, I didn't know. Let's see if she does it. Nope, she's going straight. <laughs> Hey! Now she's like, fine. I mean, I don't know why you can't train her to just go in there when you open the door. These horses are so trainable and you've already proved how much they can do. Let's look at Honey's tail. Sophie was out here bathing horses last night, bathing her horse. Let's see your tail. Hi, baby. Oh, you got some dirt there. You were sleeping in poop. There's so much room and you sleep in the poop. Wow. Sophie, it's poopy. It's cleaner than what it was. Yeah, it is cleaner than what it was. I gave up because it looks bad. Wow, it looks better in the camera. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Hi, baby. I love when they come in at night. Uh, we've discovered that they can't stay out 24 seven on the grass because all of them are at their top weight. They're all looking good, but they're all, I wouldn't want them to get any more chubby. I love that she has like such strange markings. It's like, she looks like she has tiger stripes. Isn't that so crazy? She's always had that too, but her mom was like that. So her mom has like, like darker up here and then stripes of white on the bottom. Her mom is a blanket Appaloosa and so is her dad actually. Chino's feeling good today? Yeah, because when I went to go to his medicine, he backed up. <laughs> yeah. Normally, he doesn't do that. All right, the girls are like, give me my food. I really want to ride today, but now we have, like, so much to do. Every day, I'm like, I want to ride. I want to ride. And every day, I, my schedule gets so filled. So Sophie's lessons just happen on whatever day it works for everybody and so her trainer messaged this morning and said does today work so we're gonna make Don't it work weird. but I also have so many other things that I do have to do like I have to sit down and take a whole day and get Sophie's homeschool ready for her. oh wait fly mask first Sophie don't open it oh my gosh the fly masks are, are going to be the death of me this year only Gracie gets one because only Gracie has one. She's the only one who comes in with one, but they need them. We have these ones, but they're smaller. Well, they will fit. Um, <laughs> Today we go out into the field and we find all the fly masks. About Chino, um, he is definitely doing better. Like, I see him coming back. What I realized is that this whole time he's been sick, I've been on the fence. I'm sitting on the fence, like, is he gonna come back? Is he not? Like, I've been worried about stuff. I'm worried about his feet. And I'm worried about, that's all I'm worried about. I'm just worried about his feet. I know that physically he can come back. I'm a little bit worried about, whoa. <laughs> Storm comes over and he's tapping my camera there. Hi, baby. <laughs> I'm worried about his feet, but I'm also a little bit worried about um, a relapse because that's a really real thing. And I don't know how long we can like continue trying to get him well. We'll just keep trying as long as we can though. Look at this. The other day I thought maybe he was starting to chew this wood. He's hardly in his stall just at night like everybody else. So we're gonna have to put something on here. I'll have to tell Sam today, like some kind of something that will make it safer for him. Chino. Anyways, I realized I've just been on the fence, worried and wondering. I feel he's gonna come back. I believe he's gonna come back. But I've been on the fence. Like I've been honestly inside on the fence. And then I had a dream a couple nights ago that Chino was back in lessons. And then I was like, oh my gosh, maybe he is gonna come back. And what I realized is that Chino's recovery has been on the fence. It's been stalled. It's just been like so slow and so like he can't make up his mind. And then I realized that I need to just get off that fence and remember that God is good and we're doing everything that we can. And I believe, I truly believe, like I need to focus and really believe and just see him coming back and not see the scared and not see the nervous and not see the, the hard parts. I need to like focus on his recovery so that he can focus on his recovery. You ready to recover, Chino? He's like, heck yes. Yeah, <laughs> there's this big, huge section for his little tiny baby forelock. <laughs> Actually, it looks like it's growing more now. <laughs> it's been the same <laughs> Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today's adventures. I always go as baby for Go out there and have some, some grass, Stormy Boy, because in another hour and a half, you'll be riding. Oh, I wonder if they do this at night. <laughs> Poor Stormy probably can't get his head over there. He can't, he's too short. Mm -hmm. You can do this. I'm glad they're beside each other. Hey, Gino, don't do that. See, we know, oh, it's probably both of them. Don't do that. That's bad for you. And Storm just doesn't take the blame. <laughs> I wonder why Storm's been licking this. <laughs> they love each other. They're weirdos.
So me and my mom heard a splash. And it was Ellie jumping in the water trough. I literally heard it too. Yeah. There was a splash. And then I was like, oh god, what is that? Now she's all dirty because she's rolling in the sand. It's true that I plan to give Ellie her bath today because she needs one after this weekend. And Molly. Oh, Sophie and I were both doing different things and we heard a huge splash. And Sophie looked over and there was Ellie in the water trough and then rolling in the dirt. Sophie says I should put a bucket of clean water Ellie. outside just in front of the front door so that she at the back door so that if she wants to swim, she can swim in that on the way into the house. But you know what somebody said in the comments today? They said we should take the apples and we should make apple cider. And that when they made apple cider, they even added a little bit of pear to it. But you know how you can make apple cider? We love apple cider. And we can make a huge pile of it. I know. Well, the apples aren't ripe yet, but do you want to make it? You can. I can. <laughs> Spoken like a true teenager. But I definitely want to make apple cider and I want to use some of the pears, and some of you guys told me to use the rocks to fill in holes. And an interesting story. Early last week I was walking down the driveway and there's some like ruts in the driveway and I twisted my ankle. I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, Shem needs to fix that, but now, because of you guys, I'm gonna fix them myself with all those rocks. It's time to retire these pants and I'm never buying this kind again. This is the only kind I'll wear, so. I know, well guess what sister, you're gonna have to get used to something else. They're so expensive. And they're such bad quality. All right, well, if they're three years old, then maybe they're okay. So anyways, I was hanging out in the farmyard. <laughs> that's, my, that's the happeningest field. And Sophie called me in and said like, look at Storm's tail. Do you see it? If you know, you know. If you know, you know. And this part of his mane is growing? Like, I mean, you can still hold it in one hand. But if you know, you know. That's all that good grass. Only bad things about him are his hair. And we're going to probably try and take off his shoes this winter and do what we did with Chino because it, it was really beneficial for Chino. And Storm doesn't pull his shoes as often as Chino was. And when Storm does pull a shoe, he's like perfectly fine. Yeah, he trots around like he's still <laughs> sound. Yeah, so we're going to try it probably this winter and see how he does. So we had our lesson. It was horrible. We need to figure out what we're going to do for riding but it's so late in the season, I don't know if I wanna make a change yet. It's too hard to ride in here because Storm's hard to get moving anyway because he doesn't, he's, he's a lazier horse under saddle and he doesn't, so every time she's going around on these little tiny hills, he always slows down. So it's just like her fighting to keep him going. So then we moved over there. It wasn't bad, but he pulled a shoe and he keeps pulling shoe under saddle on this grass. He wasn't doing it in the outdoor at our old house. I think it's because he's not moving forward enough. He doesn't do it when he's running in the field. I'm sure it's because he's not moving forward enough. I'm gonna ask the farrier to tuck. There's a lip on his shoe and I think if she tucks that under, it'll solve that problem. Storm shoe. Chino outside like a good boy. Off. What? He took his fly mask off. Oh, he took his fly mask You know he's feeling better. <laughs> he's like, I don't want this guys. No, we put it on. Did we put it on him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then there's the duck and the goose. That's the hub of our little farm. That little area, it's because the goats are there, the duck, the goose, the horses. So one thing that I was not expecting to have to do on this farm was to go out routinely and find fly masks. I kind of feel like if a horse takes it off, it doesn't want it. But at the same time, seeing them with all those flies. <laughs> Come on! Hi, baby! Come on! Come on, she's the mama. Mochas, look at their, they're excited. Come on! <laughs> anyway, seeing them with all those flies all over their face really bothers me. And Gracie loves a fly mask. She keeps it on all the time. Go get it. Where is it? All the way down there, there's pennies. Oh, you guys are good. Where's pennies? Over there. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Yeah, I don't see it. How do you guys see it? It's over here. All right, well, there's one. We found, I think we found both the missing ones. I try and wash these every couple of days because I think the reason they take them off is, do you see how it gets dirt on there and then they can't, right there especially, they can't see. <laughs> they came! Come on! <laughs> Everybody's calling for us. Hi babe! 
Hi, <laughs> and then her babies are screaming over there. Hi. Uh oh, we have the gate open. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ellie, back Hi, away from girlie. the goat. Hi, girlie. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so there we got three babies and only one mama. How many masks did you find? <laughs> A collection? No, this is Willow's. Oh. That you put on Gracie. Oh, so Gracie's in Storms. And then Storms got one on. This baby needs a fly mask. So if I try and put this fly mask back on the horse, watch what happens. All right, she let me put it on. She's like, finally, you came out and find my fly mask. I'm always checking over our horse's bodies. I'm gonna make a video on how, what we do like specifically for us to prevent or to monitor for laminitis in our horses because our horses are on grass all the time. All right, so we did it. <laughs> Everybody's got a fly mask except for the baby. And I, cover her nose and I'm gonna go cut one for her because she needs it. So Sophie is going to try and take honey. We're taking one horse. We might as well take Yeah, so who are you taking to the show, the next show? Um, the fair? Yeah. Hopefully honey. We'll see how she does. And then Willow and Storm for sure. Yeah, so she's gonna take Willow and Storm. She's gonna do different things with both of them at the fair. We're excited about it. And she wants to take Honey just to get her used to going places and doing stuff. Although she is good at going places. Gabby here's Gabby's going on about the fairs. Yeah. She's like, if I'm going to a the fair, boat ride. what? The boat ride. Kate and I go on it. We go at the end. It goes all the way up like that. So it's a boat and it goes like that. And it rocks back and forth and it goes all the way up. So the end is like. Yeah, yeah. And Gabby is afraid of heights, but she likes that ride. <laughs> so Gabby's like, if I we're going to a fair, I'm going on the rides. Gabby, Sophie's in there working with the flag and honey. And I'm going to work on getting honey a uh, fly mask. But I also, on this week, for this week, like the girls go back to school really soon. So... I want to, I like, I want to build some stuff this fall. And the really good news that I haven't told you guys yet is that Sam got approved to come home again and work from home for another five months. So he gets to come home. This is his last day at work again. And I am super excited. So my, on my agenda, especially like, is that poison ivy? I don't think it is. I hope it's not. Maybe I have poison ivy on my legs. Anyways, when he comes home, my plans are to build some things for the goats, work on some maternity stalls for the goats, and also, I don't even know what's in this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put garbage in here. This is odd. This is something we've never touched since we moved here. We've never gone near it. This would make such a great compost. But it's full of garbage, so we're gonna have to clean that out. But also, but also I wanna explore what's behind door number 287. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, I got Gabby. <laughs> We want to explore what's in behind door number 287. Yeah, just an outhouse. Is it clean? Let's see, move your arm. Wow. So we actually have an outhouse. Sorbet. <laughs> and somebody obviously was eating ice cream in here. Oh, it's got a light. Does the light actually work? How convenient. And some window and a window. Anyway, this would not take much to clean up. I was thinking this could make a really good winter coop for the duck and the goose. I think I like their stall better. I found this really cute sign. That, ooh, is that a spider? What the heck? Ah! I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Molly's here. <laughs> Molly wants a ride too. Oh, I'm good at pushing. Oh. Get out, Molly. Oops, my, oh, Molly just took my knees out. 
My nephews love this swing. They spend more time on this swing. It, it swings. <laughs> this is probably the last time I'll get to push Gabby on a swing. Oh. When she starts school, she'll be too, go the other way. too cool for us. Uh oh. Don't you know that you're beautiful?